So I reacted to the Not Like Us music video. It got blocked in a lot of countries. But I said in that reaction <laughs> that uh, I know it's going to be some hidden meanings that a lot of us not going to catch. So that's what we about to react to right now. We know what we're here for, so let's get into it. Not Like Us is full of layered disses towards Drake, like this scene of him with an owl in a cage. Referencing Maya Angelou's I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings, implying that Drake should stick to singing or rapping. Dang, you went through that quick, bro. <laughs> so it referenced Maya Angelou's. To Maya Angelou's I Know Why the Cage. I know why the cage bird sings. All right, gotcha. Sings. Implying that Drake should stick to singing or rapping, with the owl representing Drake since it's OVO's logo. And also mm -hmm. implying Drake should be locked up for all the PDF file allegations that Kendrick talks about on the song. He's even playing Hopscotch, a game that little girls play, in the scene where he says the A minor one. And dropping the video on the fourth. See, when you when I first reacted to it, it's a lot of stuff that I missed, because I was just so like, can't believe you dropped the music video. But the whole Hopscotch is over A minor. It's brilliant, but at the same time, it's like, it's messed up. Live. A day celebrating American independence after doing the pop-out show on Juneteenth proves that he planned the whole aftermath of the beef out. Continuing his point about Drake being not like us, an outsider to American rap culture, something he puts on full display when he brings out all of LA to Compton to chant this diss with him throughout the video. It especially fits with him calling Drake a colonizer, since the 4th of July was when America got freed from being a British colony. Kendrick uses LA rapper and celebrity friends throughout his pop-out concert to show the heritage and history that he comes from, that Drake tries to imitate by associating with Atlanta artists, but just can't really replicate. And some of the stars that showed up in the show made it an appearance in the video to double down on that point. From Mustard, who opened for him, to DeMar DeRozan, who he named dropped on the song since he went to go play for the Toronto Raptors, Drake's hometown team, but eventually came back home to the US and made an appearance on stage during the live performance of Not Like Us. Tommy the Clown, who also performed a set before Mustard at the show, is a dancer raised in South Central LA who was legendary for inventing the form of dancing called clowning, a huge inspiration behind Crumpet in response to the Rodney King riots in 1992. His movement was meant to be a healthy alternative to LA kids getting into drugs and crime, and those values reflect Kendrick's emphasis on art being a way to represent and heal communities rather than imitate them. He featured members of TDE and Black Hippie, from Schoolboy Q to J-Rock to Absol to Top Dog, Punch, and Musso, and the video is 5 minutes and 55 seconds long. We all know Kendrick is always really specific with his numbers, and throughout his seasons on Degrassi, Drake was always spotted wearing triple five soul. He recreated this video of him doing push-ups in Compton from his- It's just small details like that, it's just like, kinda get spooky. Kinda get spooky. Instagram page, which he also referenced in his video for M95, a scene that Drake made fun of with his drop and give me 50 hook on the disc push ups. Kendrick later flipped this disc against Drake on Meet the Gram, saying that he would be a better father to Adonis because he'd teach him to do push ups and build discipline instead of taking a Zempic for weight loss. Even the fact that he did push ups in public as a celebrity in a random park in Compton was a statement about how much his city loves him and how safe he is there, something that he's saying Drake will never have in a historical center of hip hop like LA. He also does exactly 17 push ups, he won 17 Grammys, and he's also saying Drake doesn't. He did 17 push-ups. He won 17 Grammys. If this is accurate, if this is an accurate breakdown, this man Kendrick and Dave Free, they on a whole, they on a whole nother level with their thinking, uh, with their thinking abilities, and thinking outside of the box. But uh, hitting every target is just on a whole nother level. This is high level thinking anything over 17. The pictures are off the wall in this room that has studio speakers in it, which references Drake saying <laughs> he made direct references to some of Drake's disses on Family Matter. So the picture's off the wall, but it didn't have Drake on it. So I guess he's saying, somebody said that could have been an invite. I saw another video. It was on X or some Twitter, or whatever, where somebody was like, they posted a screenshot like, oh, this is the official invite to all white party. I don't know. I don't know the connection there. Specifically about him domestically abusing Whitney and Dave Free being the father of his son. But these scenes of posing and dancing with Whitney and his children, right when he says the family matters line. And the fact that Dave Free directed the video. Whitney is even wearing a wife beater, directly referencing these allegations, something that I don't really feel like she'd do if they were true. He references the vignette type shot in Family Matters with this scene, and has this guy behind him in a ski mask representing Drake from his Dark Lane demo tapes album cover. In this scene, Drake is trying to catch up to Kendrick, but gets swept away. So that's what that's from, the Dark Lane demo tapes. Allegedly, I'm gonna say allegedly to all this stuff that you're just breaking out because these connections are crazy. 
who says the boogie nerd mom. And Kendrick is standing next to a guy with a Compton hat on, representing how him having his city by his side is why Drake will never catch up. He smacks the shit out of this owl pinata in some scenes. Another reference to an activity little kids do at birthday parties, while also visually representing the beatdown that he's saying he gave Drake in this beef. And at the very beginning of the video, he gives us a snippet of a song with a Not Like Us type flow, potentially teasing either a remix or a preview of a song from his next album. The snippet also references Kamasi Washington, a saxophone player from LA who is featured on Pippa Butterfly, hinting that his next album might have some of the same jazz influences that this album was famous for. He also references the blueprint by Jay-Z in a line about IP or intellectual property, which is kind of a response to Drake saying that he had to drop and give his label 50%, implying that what he's trying to build with PG Lang, his own label, is going to give him more control over his own music, just like Jay-Z with Rockefeller Records. This video actually reminded me a lot of the video for All Right, with the huge crowds of Compton natives singing along to Kendrick, and the music video for that also started with another song first. I don't know if this was a coincidence, but his fit looked mad similar to the guy from this viral video. <laughs> who has a lot of the same uh who else who used that I, at first when i first heard it that little viral clip it was on like a tory's lane song and then i just started seeing clip everywhere after that his hair whack his all that this is, kind of i think it's kind of funny we can't play the audio bro you did so hard you worked so hard on this video Four hours and it's looking like it might be Kendrick's biggest video of all time. And for more context on this song, watch my breakdown here. Let me know what I missed down below and as always, thanks for watching. For more context on this song, watch the breakdown. Alright. Anyways, you see what his channel is on the screen. This video was, uh, seemed like it was quickly put out, but at the same time, it was well thought out. He caught a lot of stuff that a lot of us probably missed. Let me know what all you caught in the comment section below. But overall, I feel like he did a pretty good job explaining. And um, if you guys have any insight or any other videos that probably can break it down um, better than this, let me know. Some recommendations in the comment section below.